This man's body was half frozen by ice spikes. Seeing his loved ones frozen to death, he broke free from the spikes of ice and ignited the fires of hell from the palms of his hands. A palm shattered the cold, hungry land. Hanzo was Dongying's strongest ninja. 400 years ago, Hanzo, heir of Shirai Ryu, the most powerful ninja organization, to escape his life of displacement and assassination, he lived in the mountains with his wife. One day Hanzo was fetching water from a well when he suddenly heard his wife's screams. He quickly dropped the bucket and ran back. He saw his wife and children frozen in ice and pierced by ice swords. With a single stroke of his sword, he killed all the men in black who tried to come near him. Then Hanzo found the man who started it all. Sub-Zero came up and cut his face with a flying knife. Then the two of them fought. Obviously Hanzo was not a match for Sub-Zero. Not only was he robbed of his weapon, but he also used a poison stinger to end the fight. After Sub-Zero left, the dragon mark on his hand slowly disappeared. Finally disappeared into a flame. At that moment, a man emerged from a lightning bolt. He is the guardian of Earth Raiden. He picked up the poisonous stinger that killed Hanzo and realized he was still too late. At that moment, the sound of a child crying came from inside the house. It turned out Hanzo's wife had hidden her little son in a time of crisis. Then Raiden took Hanzo's bloodline and left. In the blink of an eye, 400 years later, Hanzo's descendants were eating at a restaurant with his wife and daughter. Suddenly, the sky began to snow. Everything around them froze at a speed visible to the naked eye. Sub-Zero reappeared in a black mist. Then, the snowflakes in the air became ice cubes. He waved his hand and hit the crowd. Cole hurriedly let his daughter hide at the table. At the critical moment, Jax drove them away. In the car, Jax raised his clothes to reveal the same dragon mark as Cole's body. That's why they're being hunted. However, before Jax could explain more, Sub-Zero caught up with him. Jax told Cole to take his family and leave first. He came to break the back, and he was about to shoot. But the bullet was frozen in the muzzle. It was then smashed directly, losing his weapon. Jax was struck unilaterally by the other side. Finally, he was pushed down the stairs and passed out. After Cole settled down with his family, Cole went looking for the place Jax mentioned. After seeing Sonya, he realized everything. It turns out that the people who were after him were the men of the ruler of the first star. Shang Tsung and Shang Tsung and Earth had a fighting agreement. If a fighter from the first star could win the championship for 10 consecutive years, then Shang Tsung will invade Earth. So far, one star has won nine fights. Ensure the 10th victory. Shang Tsung sent his men to assassinate all those who had the dragon's mark. Although Sonya doesn't have the mark, she's been studying the dragon mark for years. She also caught a bearded man who inherited the mark. While talking, the room suddenly lost power. An invisible monster pinned Kano to the floor and rubbed him. Sonya saw this and fired her. Not only can this monster be invisible, his saliva can also corrode all sorts of things. Clever Kano used this to break the gun, then stick a light burning bullet on the monster to make it visible. Then Sonya made a nice spin flip and stabbed right into the heart. The Kano then ended the fight with a trick, and Sonya heard that. The temple can stimulate the defender's hidden skills to fight the alien. It just happens that the Kano knows the place. The three of them flew to their destination. Then they walked in the barren desert. Liu Kang had been waiting for them for a long time. Kano was about to go up and say hello. He was knocked to the ground by Liu Kang's fist fire. Then Liu Kang said he was from Shaolin Temple. His duty is to gather all the defenders of the earth. Then they led the three to the temple. Fire is Liu Kang's hidden skill. Then Sonya and the others met Blackie who had lost both arms. In the temple, Liu Kang was about to have someone arrange a pair of fake arms for him. Then Liu Kang took everyone to Raiden, but Raiden felt that the three were poorly qualified. Kano jumped out and made a provocative statement. Raiden's backhand is a lightning bolt that teaches him to be a man. The strength of the three is too weak, but the battle is coming. As long as it inspires defenders' hidden skill, they may still have a fight. Only Sonya's body does not have a mark, directly not taken into account. At the same time, Liu Kang discovered that Sub-Zero had arrived. Ice and fire are mutually exclusive. Liu Kang was immediately put down by a move. Sub-Zero was about to take his life. At the critical moment Kang appeared on time, the next Shang Tsung girl with a black mouth also arrived. Want to destroy the defender in one fell swoop. Suddenly Raiden used his scepter to summon lightning. Forming a boundary, Shang Tsung could only leave with his men. Then Liu Kang led everyone to the fighting arena trying to stimulate the power in them by fighting. And the fighting area was only open to those who had the dragon mark on their bodies. So Sonya was stopped. Then Cole fought Kung. At first, Cole used his fighting skills to put Kung down. But when Kung used the iron hat, Cole was no match. 
It was cut off by the hat. Second match Liu Kang vs Kano. Just after Kano opened, the man was knocked down. Then he was knocked down again and again as if he were possessed. After the fight, both of them failed to stimulate the power in their bodies. In the evening at dinner, Kano and Kung argued. Angry Kano but accidentally opened the laser eye, excited in which let out a loud laugh. Because pain is the ultimate catalyst to open the skill. So Liu Kang let Kano beat Cole, but Cole was about to overcome the pain and still failed to stimulate the power, and Raiden felt Cole did not inherit the energy of the ancestors. Then it turned into a lightning bolt. Cole sent it back to his wife and daughter. Not long after returning home, Cole saw a four-armed monster coming out of the warehouse to protect his family. Cole lured the monster to the other side. As a result, he was beaten without the ability to fight back. Just as Cole was about to be choked to death by the monster, his wife grabbed an axe and came to his aid. The monster focused on his wife. He was about to catch his wife. The power in the anxious Cole was stimulated. The rope in his hand turned directly into a pair of golden armor. Armor not only makes it resistant to beatings, it can also turn the monster's power into its own. Finally, a pair of weapons were transformed. Opened a big and fierce move forward. A move to solve the monster. Meanwhile, the steel monster bribed Kano. The laser eye directly destroyed Raiden's staff. The boundary was also broken. Then Shang Tsung led his men into the temple, trying to kill everyone at once. Then everyone was in a bitter battle. Kung takes on the huntress and takes the opportunity to jump on her back. He used his iron cap to split it in two. And Sonya was a bearded man with laser eyes. Sweeping down the boulder hit. Black to save Sonya to boost body power. Transformed into a pair of steel arms. At that moment Raiden appeared. And he sensed Cole's skill awakening. And then Raiden called to transport him here. Bring everyone into the void. But Kung was drained of her soul to save Cole. Then Raiden gave Cole Hanzo's poisonous stinger. To make this game more enjoyable. Everyone decided to fight the alien one on one. So Blackie took on the big guy. Jax. Who had an arm of steel. Broke big guy's hammer with his bare hands. And then a punch to kill each other. On the other hand. The loss of laser Icono combat power is not reduced. It was close to strangling Sonya to death. The next second, Sonya grabbed a dumbbell and beat him to death. He also inherited the dragon-shaped mark of Kano. At the same time, Liu Kang used the power of fire, turned into a fire dragon to devour the steel monster, and Cole fought the black-mouthed girl, also killed by Sonya's newly acquired skills. Before he had time to rejoice, Sub-Zero came with Cole's wife's necklace. Cole had to follow Sub-Zero. Come to his cold field, seeing his wife and daughter frozen to death. Cole pulled out the poisonous stinger but was snatched by Sub-Zero. As a result, the blood on it alone burst into flames. He woke Hanzo, who had been asleep for 400 years, struggling in hell, waiting for this moment of vengeance, especially seeing the frozen offspring. He couldn't help but think of his wife and children who had been murdered. Hanzo and Cole team up to defeat Sub-Zero. Finally Hanzo used the fire of hell to put an end to it. The Cole family was saved. At that moment Raiden called everyone over. This Shang Tsung appeared. He also threatened to lead an army to invade Earth next time. And Raiden is too much talk. Directly a bolt of lightning will send him away. 